In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Fabric Mods to Minecraft 1.21.5 on your Mac. Before we get started, you will need to have Java installed to your Mac, so if you don't have it already, I will leave that guide linked in the description below. The first thing we need to do is to download the correct Minecraft version so we can install the Fabric Mods later. To do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and then in the version drop down menu, you want to select 1.21.5 and click on play. Now the Minecraft files have been downloaded, we can press quit game, and now we can begin to download the Fabric Installer. To download the Fabric Installer, we first need to open our web browser, or you want to go to fabricmc.net, and I'll leave this linked in the description below. From here, you want to click on the blue download button, and then you want to click on download installer, and then you want to go ahead and download the installer to your Mac, and this example, I'm going to choose my desktop. We also need to download the Fabric API so our mods can work correctly. So to do this, you want to click on the Fabric API link below the download button, and this will take you to the CurseForge website. From here, we just want to scroll down slightly, and you want to click on the Files tab, and then we want to scroll down again, and you want to find the correct version of the Fabric API for the Minecraft version you are playing. So for this example, it's going to be the 1.21.5 version, so we're going to select that, and then you want to scroll down again, and you want to click on the black download button. This will take you to the downloads page, and after a few seconds, the download should automatically begin. Now we just want to go ahead and save the Fabric API to your Mac, and again, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we've downloaded our Fabric installer and the Fabric API, we just need to download the Fabric mods that we want to play with. So to do this, we're going to open our web browser, and we're going to go to any modding website of our choice, and for this example, it's Modder of Down, and we're going to click on Discover Mods, and you want to go ahead and download the mods you wish to use. So for this example, we are going to use the Sodium Performance mod. Once you're inside the page, you want to click on the Versions tab near the top. And just below, you want to select the Minecraft version that you want to use. So for this example, it's going to be 1.21.5. However, it's important that this is the Fabric version, which it is. So we're going to select this one. And now we're going to click on the green Download button. And again, you just want to download the mod to your Mac. And for this example, I'm going to download it to my desktop. Now we've downloaded everything, we just need to install Fabric. So to do this, we're going to open the Fabric installer. However, if you get this message, it means we need to approve it in system settings. So to do this, you want to click on the Apple logo in the top left-hand corner, and in the drop-down menu, you want to select System Settings. Once you're inside the System Settings, you want to scroll down until you find Privacy and Security, and tap into that. Now you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the Fabric installer. From here, you want to click on Open Anyway, and again, you want to select Open Anyway, and then you need to use your Mac password or Touch ID. And after a few seconds, the Fabric Installer will successfully open. From here, we just want to make sure we're on the Client tab at the very top, and you want to make sure your Minecraft version is 1.21.5. For the loader version, we can keep this the same, and you want to make sure Create Profile has been selected. Once we're ready, you want to click on Install. After a few seconds, Fabric will be installed, so you want to click on OK, and now you can exit out of the installer, and you can also delete it from your Mac if you'd wish to do so. Now we've installed Fabric, we just need to install the Fabric API and our Fabric mods. So to do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and then you want to select Installations at the very top, and you should see the new Fabric loader. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your Minecraft launcher. From here, you want to click on the File icon next to the Fabric loader, and this will open up your Finder. Now you want to find the Mods folder, and if you don't see this, you may need to create one yourself. So to do that, you want to click on the circle icon in the top right, and click on new folder, and you simply want to rename it mods. Now you want to go inside of that mods folder, and you simply want to drag and drop the fabric API and your fabric mods into this mods folder, just like this. Now we've done that, we can exit out of the mods folder, and we can go ahead and play Minecraft with fabric. So to do that, you want to click on the play tab at the very top, and in the versions drop down menu, you want to select fabric loader. Now you want to click on play. Once Minecraft has loaded, you know you've installed the Fabric and Fabric mods correctly because it will say modded in brackets in the bottom left hand corner. Now because we've installed the Sodium mod, we can access this by going to the options and then selecting video settings and they should have successfully changed. So you can go ahead and change your video settings from here. Once we're ready, we want to click on done and now we can start playing Minecraft just as we normally would. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.